So in today's video, we do the October update of the Reptile Room. Stay tuned. My name is Nick Pulaski. Growing up, I have always had a passion for wildlife. And with that passion, along with my passion of filmmaking, I get taken on some amazing adventures creating wildlife content. Getting up close with a variety of incredible animals. So come follow along as I pursue my goals of educating, inspiring, exploring, and conserving wildlife, all while having fun, seeing the beauty in our natural world. And welcome back to my October of 2020 Reptile Room Tour. As you can see, the room is coming along well. I am really excited just standing here right now and showing you guys this. I know it is right on Halloween and I think this would be a perfect way to send out the month and in starting the day and enjoying the holiday by showing you off what I've done with the room so far and what I'm about to do with you guys today. We also have Rafiki right here as well as the Red Tail Green Rat Snake. They are doing phenomenal right now. I honestly can say the first thing that I do when I first come in this room is I walk up right to them because one, Rafiki he is super interactive and just a really cool eye candy animal. I don't necessarily take him out as much because panther chameleons and chameleons in general, they don't necessarily like being held that often. So I keep handling down to a minimum for Rafiki. But I mean, when I open that enclosure and I'm feeding him, I mean, he goes to town and he absolutely loves eating out of my hand. So he loves his hornworms as well as his superworms, mealworms, crickets. He has a very well balanced, very diet. And I mean, I just love that chameleon to death. He's such a cool guy. He's going through a little bit of a shed right now. We're going to be updating his enclosure next. So my plans are to finish this corner probably next where I'm going to actually be putting a door onto this enclosure over here and finish this off. That way we have Rafiki and two of the red-tailed green rat snakes over here. I do have to still look and find a girlfriend for this male right here but all in due time. I'm not in a rush for that or anything like that. And my goal would be to get a population going in the states that's thriving. That way we can limit the amount of imports that are coming in. That would be an ultimate goal of mine. But moving on to the goal of the day, I want to make this so like we can kind of get down to doing like reptile room tours where I'm just kind of like taking animals out and doing different things with them but before we can do that I still am kind of like setting up this room believe it or not I'm kind of wanting to show you guys exactly what I'm doing and we have a whole bunch of fun things coming down the pipe so like I said I want to fill these up with you guys today so that's going to be the main goal of all this and I also wanted to show you guys too some of the ball pythons because we are entering the breeding season so I've already set up my ball python racks for the breeding season because I'm so excited to get into breeding this year as you saw I have my incubator here as well as I have a whole bunch of room available for babies and then I'm going to be putting in a whole bunch more room just for other babies because I know this rack right here is not going to be able to work with the load even with shoebox containers for the babies I'm going to have. Hopefully. I mean we can't count the chickens before they hatch, right? So yeah, like I said, the two exciting things for me right now is getting these all set up and getting animals and these guys over here. Um, the Burmese python, I don't know if I'm going to be putting Eddie in this thing yet. Um, I think he's still a little bit too small and I think he just would be more comfortable in the rack system um, just for right now. Um, both him and the Cinnamon GHI are doing phenomenal also. Um, I couldn't be happier with them. They have been eating perfectly. The GHI Cinnamon has actually been really shy when it comes to food, but what we've been doing in terms of that is we're actually changing it up where I just kind of leave the rat in there overnight and it's gone by the morning. So it's just something that some ball pythons, they're finicky eaters, and they all eat in different ways, as you guys know if you own ball pythons. And I did a whole video on that as well too earlier in this year where I went over finicky eaters too. So if you do have a ball python that's a finicky eater, make sure you check out that video as well. So the main goal right now, what I want to do is I want to take you guys along and pull out some of the snakes and set them up in their enclosures that are going right here. All right, so I do have my boa right here. I'm just gonna slide her in. Let her kind of explore. Get used to the new surrounding. See how she takes. Absolutely love this girl. She's such a cool girl that I got from John probably about three, almost three years ago now. Um, she is putting on some tremendous size on her. I think we saw the potential mother of this girl uh, when we visited John's collection the first time. So definitely a really cool animal. Um, definitely going to be poking down some size this coming winter uh, for sure. Um, she's going to be growing like a weed just like Eddie will be. Like you see right now, I mean she is definitely filling out this and she is enjoying it right now. And just something really exciting to see, you know, just kind of seeing them kind of getting used to and just seeing their surrounding and everything like that. I love seeing her body just kind of go across the glass. Kind of when you get an animal in a new enclosure too, just watching their behavior change and everything like that is something that's really interesting and 
really exciting to see now that we have like the vision rack going and everything but sometimes the animal can get kind of like uh, cage aggressive which is a thing like territorial wise and everything like that and like a hunger aggression too um she kind of shows some kind of like cage aggression so definitely something we're going to be working on i'm going to be putting a video out on her progress and everything like that so right now she's super tame super relaxed you can see her tongue just moving slowly she's just being curious she's just kind of seeing what's around what the new enclosure is like but i'm going to get her water dish in there all set up and we'll go from there but that is her right there and i am just so excited just looking at her in here it's such a cool thing and truth be told i don't think we ever named her so if you do have a name for her leave it down in the comments below uh, i would love to hear some name suggestions for her but yeah that's her right there and we're just gonna let her do her thing and move on to the Wumba python all right and then what we have right here is willow so willow is i just kind of woke her up from a nap right now it's kind of late in the day and she's kind of like what's going on everybody but here she is right here and she's just kind of like what's going on she's seeing the cages for the first time she probably saw them from afar before and now what we're going to do is we're going to open this guy and you're getting top bunk willow so i'm just going to kind of let her do her thing and just kind of glide on through the bow is resting down below i'm just kind of watching her she's kind of chilling out here so the girls own the animal plastics right now until we get eddie in here he really sipped him right through here come on sweetie but let me take you guys down so you can see better but she is just such a sweetheart absolutely in love with this girl looks so great under these lights too oh my gosh they all do i mean such perfect led lights i want to get just a nice bright white light that shows off their true colors so that's exactly what we did as you can see too she kind of fills out this enclosure as well too so definitely a perfect updating size for her she's going to put on some weight to her too as well as the boa will we're going to get her a water bowl in here now and get her all set up and move on from there she is cruising i tell you i mean she is definitely one of the curious ones that i have um but i absolutely love her i mean just watching her move around i mean this was why i got these you know i mean seeing them moving around seeing their personality getting to enjoy them just kind of growing here too i mean all worthwhile definitely something i'm enjoying with these guys i knew ever since i got these guys because i've always wanted one with pythons as well as black-headed pythons too but unfortunately don't have any of those yet but one day down the line maybe you never know but regardless i've always wanted to see these guys out and about doing their thing and i just think they're such amazing animals they definitely have some really neat personalities to them but i tell you willow she's just such a sweetheart and i've just love this animal so much so definitely one that i'm really excited to show off and display in here i mean i'm excited to show them all off in this display in here but willow especially definitely one that's going to be a showcasing fun animal for me to walk in here and see and besides just walking in here and seeing initially like rafiki and the red tail rat snake now i can also not only just see them but come in here and enjoy these guys too and not just look at lights with an empty cage. So this is just something that really brings this room to life to me and I hope it does for you guys too. Let me know what you guys think as well too. I know you guys love seeing these enclosures being built and you guys told me all about that and all your experiences too, but now finally seeing the payoff, I hope this kind of inspires you and gets you guys excited about your animals and the things that you can do with them. It's really exciting doing these kind of things for them and showcasing your animals in different sorts of ways. So yeah, that is Willow right there. So we got Willow all set up, all locked up. The middle cage, like we said, is going to be for Eddie. Uh, we have the boa down below. And I think what I want to do right now is I want to show off some ball pythons to you guys as well as the other woman python for you guys, just so you guys can see them. So that'd be a fun way to close this video out. All right, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of show off some of my ball pythons because we are entering the breeding season, at least for me at least. I know some people have already started their breeding season, but mine normally starts in the middle of November. So I'm already having my rack set up where it's going to have nighttime temperatures to cool off as well as daytime temperatures to raise it up to. So we have it all set up for this so hopefully fingers crossed we're going to have a whole bunch of gravid females this year and have a whole bunch of amazing fantastic babies for you guys to see and uh, show off and eventually hopefully give you some as well too because I can't keep them all you know at the end of the day as much as you love them all and as much as you love working with projects that you love and love and love and a whole bunch of the different cool combinations that you want to work with you can't keep them all so definitely keep your eye out for that but regardless I want to show you guys a couple of my guys and gals here starting with you yeah my tiptoes for you so this is my albino 100% head for pied 
He is absolutely amazing. I gotta get him in my light box so I can uh, take some photos of this guy. I may do that probably tomorrow just so I can show you guys, but man, he is looking amazing. This guy is growing like a weed. Definitely put on the size a few more rats than this guy, and I mean, he is going to be set and ready to go for this year. Looking really good. Such a cool looking dude, really nice temperament. Love this guy to death, but yeah, I am really excited to have some albino pides um, down the line. Um, it's definitely a project that I've always wanted to work with, and definitely something that I really think that you guys would like too. I mean, I've always loved the albino pides. I think it's just quite the recessive combo right there that I think anyone can enjoy. So really something I'm excited to work with. It's so weird looking back here and seeing her because I think she's like escaping, but it's just because it's so clean right here that I can't even tell. But she is just kind of maneuvering around right now and kind of checking things out. And favorite from last year, from when I picked up from Tinley, last year uh, at the October Tinley show, this is the Banana Leopard Pied. So as you can see, he is growing like a weed as well too. Such a sweetheart, but absolutely love this patterning right here. I mean, look at this guy right here. He's got three little dots and kind of looks like a smiley face, but not exactly like a smiley face, but still a really cool pattern. Through sheds and everything like that, sometimes they kind of dull out, but I haven't really seen much dulling in this guy. I mean, honestly, I think his colors may have popped more. Another project I've definitely been excited to work with and getting a banana in the collection is definitely something that's made this a really exciting treat and leopard gene as well too. The leopard gene is definitely hot. Um, in a whole bunch of different morphs and it definitely does a whole bunch of cool things to different combinations that I'm really excited to work with as well too. Um, so we're excited for that and this guy is going to be ready for probably later in the breeding season. He's not up to size yet and he's not up to age yet but he's definitely going to be a late bloomer for the breeding season and I don't think that's going to be an issue whatsoever. I'm willing to wait, uh, grow him out more and get him up to size and he is eating like a champ for me. He is doing phenomenal for me as well too but he is just such a cool animal. And look at that tongue go one more time so you can see this pattern right there too. Just a really cool snake. And one of the bigger gals that I like to show off is another albino, but this is an albino black pastel female. Just love this girl to death. I mean, I've had this girl for years and the couple times that I've bred her, I mean, she's had phenomenal eggs for me. We've bred her a couple times in the past too, my pied male, and we got a whole bunch of heads out of her, and absolutely love this girl to death. She is such a sweetheart, as you can see. I love her disposition. Great weight right now. She is definitely ready for this breeding season, and that's good because we're definitely ready to uh, get some phenomenal quality babies out of her, and I'm definitely going to hold back some this year. I wasn't ready to in the past um, because I was waiting to have a room like this, and now I think it's time I kind of hold back some things and kind of dive deeper into some projects. But I'm super excited to handle and work with this girl. She is phenomenal and quite a treat to have in the collection. Kind of king of the pumpkin right now. Queen of the pumpkin, I should say. But I love Wilma's to death. As you can see, she is not that big whatsoever. But for the time being, probably in a year or so, we'll bump her up to something like that over there with the T8s. But for right now, we're just gonna let her grow out. But in the end, I'm not in any rush with her whatsoever or with any of my animals, all in due time. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you could do me a couple favors, if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. As well as hit the notification bell so you know when I upload and make sure you follow me on my social media because like I said, it's Halloween time and that's the time normally when I do my photo shoot with the animals and do a whole bunch of cool different photos. Probably something fun that you guys don't want to miss. So make sure you check me out on my social media. Thank you guys again for watching and until next time, we will see you guys soon.